Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I've had this uh, Amazfit, or Xiaomi Amazfit core um, fitness tracker now for about a month. Because um, I, I wanted to see what sort of updates it would get uh, and see if it would actually become English speaking, shall we say, because it was originally in Chinese. Um, what we'll do is, first of all, I'll take you right back to delivery day and you can have a look what happened on delivery day. For some months now, for quite some time, I've been using this um, Xiaomi My Band here. It's quite good, counts your steps, uh, does your heart rate, does quite a few other things and it's really quite good. I quite enjoy it. It connects to my phone via the uh, Xiaomi app as well. So I thought it'd be nice to uh, try out this uh, Amazfit or Amazfit, whichever way you like to call it. Uh, and I asked Gearbest, and they sent this one along for me. Um, it comes in this almost adult-proof box here. If I can get it out, uh, there we go. There it is. Um, I have uh, taken it out of the box previously, guys, because I wanted to charge it. Uh, and when you first get it, you'll get this band wrapped around it which shows you what it'll look like when it's up and running. It's uh, very nicely made, so far anyway, it's very nicely made, quite like it. Um, what do we get in here? Well, you get this charging lead, magnetic charging lead, just clips onto the uh, back, there we go, like that. Clips on there, quite strong, you can see it grabs onto it. And you can plug it into your uh, computer to charge it. Uh, what else we've got in here? <clears throat> well, we've got some instructions. Uh, if I can get those out as well. And here they are. Um, entirely in Chinese. I've uh, yet to find um, anything in English on the web, but I'm sure it'll turn up at some point or another. Um, to be honest with you, the phone is aimed at, aimed at the uh, Chinese market. Um, so look, so if we can wake you up. Can we wake it up? There we are. As you can see, it's all in uh, Chinese as well. Let's have a closer look at that. Well, I haven't done anything to this yet, guys. I haven't set the time on it. But you can see it's all in, all of your menu and that is in Chinese at the moment. Um, I haven't connected it to an app just yet. And being here in the UK, I'm hoping it's gonna download a, a software update for this that will uh, make it English as well. Um, this should make it a lot easier, I must admit to work. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll uh, connect it to an app and then we'll have another look at it. Okay guys, so I've uh, paired it with my uh, phone here. You can see there's a, a firmware update going on. This is still in Chinese over here. So what we'll do is we'll um, come back in a few minutes because it's going to take a while for it to uh, sort it out. We're halfway there guys. Very nearly there, not long to go now. See what happens. I'll just leave the camera rolling for a minute too. See what happens. Get in there. Creeping along. And so it's still in Chinese at the moment, as you can see. Right, let's see what happens now. Oh. Updated successfully, it says here, connecting. <coughs> well, I don't think we can, uh, no, you can't wake it up while it's connecting by the looks of it, so just let it connect. There we go, it's doing something. It's still in Chinese though. And now this has popped up. We're still in Chinese over here. Uh, and it's saying, updating resources. I would imagine it's probably grabbing something uh, via the internet. Right then, so if this doesn't change it to English, I may have to check uh, either the set, well, the settings in here, I think, because I don't think I'm going to be able to understand them on this thing, not in Chinese. I wonder if you got any of you guys out there have got one of these things uh, that's actually changed itself to English. Um, we'll soon find out. Okay, so we're racing uphill towards the end now. Uh, let's see what happens. Just leave the camera rolling again. Almost there. Not quite there on the on the uh, watch yet. 
there's still a little gap on the watch. What will happen? Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Updated successfully. Okay, so it's still in Chinese, so I've got to find a way, if there is any, of um, changing it to uh, English. I'll let you know, guys. I'll go and have a play with it. And then on the 16th of January this year, um, there was another update uh, available for the uh, Xiaomi app on my phone. Uh, and, um, well, look what happened, guys. This is what happened. Okay, guys, so uh, this morning there was um, an update on the uh, MyBand app, the Xiaomi MyBand app on my phone. Uh, when I looked into the details, they said it was a firmware update. So as soon as I got to work, I actually updated the little fellow. And look what happened. English. We've got English at last. So you can see, look, weather, status, notifications. It's all in English now, which is quite handy, really. Okay, so it's uh, got this new weather app that's appeared on here uh, during that update. Um, but the one thing I found about it is, uh, <clears throat> here it is. It can be a little buggy and a little crashy, to be honest with you. Uh, it should show you, this is today's uh, weather, or the, uh, you know, when it was last updated. And if you push up from the bottom, it should show you the next uh, four days or so weather. But what happens is, look, push it up, and it crashes the, uh, the whole tracker. I mean, you're supposed to, um, you know, swipe this way, and it'll take you back to... Uh, the main screen but it won't it won't do anything <clears throat> as you can see it's just completely uh, st stopped and it'll take it a few minutes now to uh, restart itself well it's just restarted itself and you saw it boot up there um, it's working again here's the weather again there's the alarm uh, timer settings notifications and the exercise app which you can uh, just tap into there and oh it's just vibrate there it goes two one here we go now we're off exercising guys if you need to exercise you can you don't have to go into the uh, phone app to get it to work so which is quite good i will say that though that the uh, the weather app will actually sort itself out after about midnight for some reason or other tomorrow morning it'll be fine again strange on that one i don't know what uh, why it does that every now and again when you you know when you want to update the uh, the weather app it'll it'll just crash for some reason or another but other than that, it's uh, quite a good little uh, device, really. I mean, you can see on the front screen here, you can see the time, you can see the day and the date, and there's uh, how many steps you've done. Um, just like my uh, my band two, this little fella will actually let you know um, when you've done the amount of steps you wish to do that day. I.e., this one's set for nine thousand steps, and it vibrates uh, quite well three times. Buzz, 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 and you're under no in no doubt at all that you've uh, you've done your uh, steps for the day. Um, as I say, how many have I done here? Um, Eleven fifty-seven steps. I've not done many this morning so far. The band is very well made, very well indeed. It's quite heavy. Uh, we'll weigh it in a moment too. The strap is very well attached to the uh, the device itself. Nice, very nice material. And if you look on the back here, you can see the. Um, the heart rate uh, camera and the charging port. Here is the uh, magnetic charging section just here. The little uh, charges are snaps on, it's held in place. You don't need to uh, take the uh, electronic pack out of the band to charge it like you do with a um, My Band 2. Here we have the little camera, uh, and when you engage the uh, heart rate monitor, you can see the little lights lighting up there as they are trying to check your uh, blood flow and pulse rate. It'll be interesting to see if the device can actually pick up my heart rate from looking into my finger. As you see at the top, you've got the uh, steps, you've got your heart rate, you've got distance covered, and then you sh scroll up, and we have the uh, burnt calories, and your um, sort of like your sitting time, as it were. Let's have a look. Have we caught anything on here yet? Can we catch anything on here through my finger? It can take a few minutes just to pick up the heart rate. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, let's take a quick look at the uh, MyFit app. Here we go. 
Here it comes, right, it's busy connecting to the band as we speak, syncing the data, and it's all fully almost synced up there. There we go. And you can see uh, there's my last night's sleep. Uh, the last activity. I don't know what that. I think that just that was just uh, triggered by mistake. That one was, to be honest with you, 20 seconds worth of activity. The heart rate, 84 beats per minute. Uh, there's me weight, getting a bit chubby then by the looks of things. And there's uh, yesterday's streak of uh, my steps. Last streak two days ago, 15th of the blah blah blah. So yeah, and you can share that with your. Um, your friends as well on your oops on your uh, various um, uh, formats you know like Facebook and what have you if you wish to what else can we do with this thing then so there's all your steps distance covered uh, the profile lets you see more settings like you can see different watch face settings if you want and you can use a device to uh, unlock the screen a little thing to un unlock the screen of your device like your tablet or whatever so you don't have to type in the, your uh, pin for it if it's compatible with the device it will do that for you just, just as soon as you bring it anywhere close as long as you've got the Bluetooth connected on both devices it will wake the screen up for you um, you've got a, a, a notification of incoming call on, on the uh, device itself it'll vibrate and let you know uh, you've got event reminders, alarms, app alerts, idle alert so you know it tells you when you're sitting about too much and there's a whole bunch of different other um, alerts you can uh, bring up on the band itself. It's quite a quite a good little um, app actually. So how does the um, the Masfit Core get it the right way up as well? There we are. Compare with my um, Xiaomi My Band 2, which you can see it's quite a bit wider, almost as thick. I think they're most mostly the same thickness to be honest with you, uh, but it's a lot heavier. So let's let's get these scales in and compare the two, shall we? And we'll start with a little My Band 2. Three quarters of an ounce, 19 grams. Bring in the uh, Masfit Core. It's 32 grams. 32 grams. Yes, we want ounces now. Thank you. Uh, an ounce and an eighth. So it's quite a lot heavier, and I think a lot of that is to do with. The metal bezel around the outside of the thing. To be honest with you, as I say, the uh, the um, my band two is entirely sort of like plastic with a glass front, and this little button you press to wake things up. There's actually a little bit you can press on the, uh, especially if you get it right way up, guys. Um, there we go. You wake it up. There's a little small. You can't really see it very well. But there's a little sort of little uh, oblong bit at the bottom there to which you roll your finger over to wake it up. There you go, guys. I think you can just about see it now middle of the screen there you just put your runny finger over that and it wakes up so once you wake your device up with a swipe you can then swipe up and then you get to the uh, status which is like as I say with your heart rate and what have you what you know what you've been up to your calories burnt and stuff then we have the weather and then we have the, the alarm so you can set yourself an alarm uh, a timer so you can time anything you like uh, the settings for the uh, Watch itself, you've got different watch faces. So look what watch faces have we got. There we go, it's a green one. This one here, there's quite a few different um you know watch faces you can have. You're not limited to the uh the one that I happen to like, which is this one here. Um what else have we got here? We've got the lock screen, which is off. Don't need that. Uh find phone so if it's connected the phone will actually uh, ring let's do that okay so here's my phone we find the settings again I think it's in the settings let's have a look yep here we go lock screen find phone and you press stop to stop it so it finds your phone and you can also use the uh, app on the phone to find the device as well so they're both uh, you know you can find either of them so if you've got one you can find the other one all right so if you're interested in this uh Xiaomi uh, Amazfit Core it is available um from Gearbest which is where mine came from thank you very much to Gearbest for sending it in by the way and you can pick it up for 42 pounds and 82 pence which is a 
quite good value I, th I think uh, when you compare it with other fitness trackers which like can be over a hundred pound a piece this one does actually do quite a lot for the money and you can get an international version as well look guys and it comes in black or grey too for that matter so you can have it in the uh, grey band as well as the black one so you've got your choice of uh, colours as well there then the strap is uh, quite strong and it's very simple in the way it works you've got a little uh, metal insert here actually set into the uh, band itself you pass it through the uh, hole thusly and then you simply find the size you require and push it through the little hole like so and then it, uh, it attaches quite strongly guys it's really quite a good little um, bit of kit it's very well made to be honest with you I quite like it very nice indeed alright then guys I hope you enjoy this little look at the uh, Xiaomi Amazfit core very nice little bit of uh, kit indeed um, I say apart from the uh, the current um, weather app does tend to crash every now and again um, it has been working fine for most of the week for me and it's only uh, this morning when I updated the uh, the app and it updated the weather that it decided it was going to start crashing again so it does work guys it doesn't crash all the time and you've got all these other um, interesting settings useful settings on the phone especially the exercise one which means you don't actually have to go into the phone app to set yourself an exercise thing up you simply uh, hit the button here we go three two one you can feel it vibrating and we're off on the exercise so you can do whatever you want you know exercise wise long press for pause and then you can end it end your exercise there so look you see we've had eight seconds worth of exercise there so that was quite good for us this morning guys okay right then. Uh, we better thank Gearbest for sending this in to us uh, thank you very much Gearbest Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, <clears throat> there it is. It's done it its tightest. Look, you don't need a, a very small wrist to get this on, guys. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little review of the um, the fitness tracker here. It's very nice, very well made. I quite like it actually. I've been wearing it uh, since, more or less since I got it. To be honest with you, uh, charging wise. Um, I believe that the Xiaomi claim it, that the battery will last around about 14 days. Well. Um, I've actually had it uh, quite a lot more than that and I've only charged it twice I charged it once when I initially got it and I charged it uh, a few weeks ago um, you can see it's still at 73% and we have a, um, a do not disturb setting on here as well guys so if you don't want it vibrating or m making noises in the middle of the night you can stop it from doing that <coughs> just by pushing from the top and I say I charged this a couple of weeks ago and it's still um, 73% so the battery life is probably at least on my item is a lot better than Xiaomi claims at 14 days um, <clears throat> it's pretty good but battery life it's um, possibly almost as good as my uh, my band 2 which goes I think it goes about four weeks or so uh, without needing a charge this one and I think this one looks like it's uh, heading on that way as well I suppose it all depends on how you use it you know whether you use it for exercise you can there's also a setting for you monitoring your sleep a lot more accurately with, where, whereby it monitors your uh, heart rate all night that would eat into the battery life too okay then guys don't forget you can uh, subscribe to the channel and that will help me as well thank you very much uh, you can click like especially if you enjoyed the review and you can share it with your friends as well because they might be after a fitness tracker and quite a good one at, uh, at that as well because this is a you know for the money you pay for it it's actually very good indeed the amount of stuff it'll do and I say it undercuts things like um, the other trackers out there quite a considerable amount as well I think basically you could get yourself two of these for one of the other trackers that are available on the market so you know you could get one for yourself and one for your partner they're very good actually I, I, I've had a, quite a few uh, uh, months of use out of my MyBand 2 it's very very good you don't know you're wearing it it's they uh, certainly let you know when you've covered the steps you're meant to be uh, walking every day you get three very considerable uh, vibrations from the thing and you know you've done your uh, your daily amount of steps then don't forget also guys you can follow me on Instagram down there and coming up at the end of the review you can see my uh, support card giving you other ways to support my channel Alright then guys, um, thanks for popping over. I do hope you enjoyed this uh, 
a little look at the uh, Xiaomi um, Amazfit Core. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for popping over, and I'll see you again in the very near future then. Laters! Oh, <laughs>